can't get my camera angle right, right, that's it. Hello everybody and welcome back to another instalment of Jude's World. Well here I am today, I'm outside Selby train station. I'm about to get on this train here and you're going to join me on a little adventure. So if you come this way, we're going to get on the train and let's get out of here. Oh, here's the train. Right, I'm now at Leeds train station and I just wanted to show you the temporary toilets. <laughs> These are a bit jazzy, aren't they? Because the main ones are being done up. And I just wanted to show you how small the space is. Not much room in there, is there? You try putting your case in there as well, as I demonstrate. See? Not much room in there, is there? Okay, right, so here I am now at Leeds train station. My journey isn't over yet. I am about to go and get on board another train. So, this is my ticket. As you'll see there, I'm initially travelling to London King's Cross. So I've got a seat reservation for this portion of the journey. So I better make sure I go and get in the correct seat. So, this is me, Coach D. Right, so I'm very nearly at London King's Cross. I now need to get off the train, get into the underground. There's my Oyster Pass. And I need to get to Victoria so as I can get my connection. So, uh, we've just past Alexandra Palace. So that means we're almost here, so I'd better get a skedaddle. I don't want to miss getting off this train. Chomp, chomp, chomp. I'm in the London Underground. There's a train coming because I can feel the breeze coming along. train that's going to Gatwick so hopefully it won't take me too much longer to get there than at Gatwick I then have to transfer to a hotel uh, shuttle which will then take me to the hotel where I'm at so I'm getting close I'm getting close Woo okay right so here I am now at Gatwick airport I'm hoping I'm in the right place it looks like I am so I just have to wait for the shuttle bus G5 and then I will reach my destination and then I can finally crash. So, fingers crossed. I mean, I left Selby at like 10 to 10, so it's like, you know, I'm ready now to sit down. Right, so here we are now, finally, outside the hotel room. So, let's get in. Oh. Right, so here's the little guided tour of the room. So, looks like I've got some tea and some coffee facilities there. Oh, looks like I've got some biscuits. Ooh, chocolates. Well, I can see I'll be having those. Ooh, free complimentary bottle of water. What's in there? Nice. We have a kettle. Don't think anything exciting will be in here. Oh. Oh my god. It's empty. So, 
we have got a TV. There's the mirror. And there's the bed. That's nice, isn't it? Now, let's go and have a look in the bathroom. Ooh, we've got mugs, uh, body lotion, shower gel, ooh, shampoo, we've got soap, shower cap, toilet, we've got the shower there, I'm going to have some fun with that, I can see, there we go, tissues. I could find my way to Narnia in that. Oh, oh God, lovely. That was a nice, big, delightful noise. And finally, let's have a look out of here. Ooh. Got a beautiful, stunning view of the airport. Well, actually, I don't actually have a view of the airport. I've got a lovely view of the car park. How delightful. Oh, well, it's nice to be here, finally. I left Selby at around about 10 to 10 and I got here around about 15 minutes ago. So I think I've done pretty well. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to get my stuff sorted, get my bag ready for tomorrow. And then in a little while, I'm going to go down and uh, get something to eat. So I shall join you all later. Right, okay, so I've had a bit of a chance now to get freshened up. I've got myself all sorted. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go down and get something to eat in the hotel. It would sort of help if I turn the light off, wouldn't it? Is the light off? Oh, no, it was off in the first place. Right, let's go. down. Ah, right, oh, I'm going down. <laughs> right, well, the time is just coming up to 10 o'clock. I left Selby around about 12 hours ago. I'm at the Crown Plaza Gatwick Airport. Um, I'm going to bed now because I've got to get up quite early tomorrow as I'm going to Wimbledon and I'm going by coach. I actually could have gone from Selby, but that would have meant I was being picked up at some ungodly hour in the morning. And by that, I mean about half past four in the morning. And that's not good. So I decided to come on the two night trip instead. And I'm glad I'm here because tomorrow I'm now getting up at a more reasonable hour, which is about seven o'clock in the morning. So I'm very glad for that. Anyway, basically, to cut a long story short, pickup time down in the lobby tomorrow is around about... Uh, we've got to be there for half past eight to set off for the tennis at quarter to nine. So that's why I'm going to bed now, because um, tomorrow is going to be a long day. And also, just to say, there's going to be no point me even attempting to film tomorrow, uh, because they don't allow it. So it's completely pointless me doing it. But, you know, I will give you a full report on it when I come back to the hotel tomorrow. Anyway, so it's good night from me at the Crown Plaza Gatwick. Good night, everybody. Right, well, I'm now back at the Crown Plaza at Gatwick Airport after an amazing day at the tennis. I even got this lanyard that's got my ticket in it. Uh, the time is approximately ten past nine. I'm just going to go downstairs just to see if I can just get something like a sandwich or something. Just says that I've had a little something to eat. And I've got some chocolate as well back here to eat at the hotel. So I'll do my goodnight message just before I go to bed. 
So, uh, just as I will do um, a vlog on the things that I actually bought from Wimbledon um, at a future date. Anyway, so I'll catch you all later. Right, well, I've had an absolutely brilliant day today at Wimbledon. Um, for those of you who didn't catch it earlier, uh, there was no point me filming there because they don't allow you to do it and post it on YouTube. So basically, there was, there was absolutely no point in me filming. However, I've had a fantastic day today. Uh, I think all the fresh air has finally caught me up. So I'm going to switch off here. Um, tomorrow, I will be having breakfast and then gathering my stuff together to return home. So, I will see you all tomorrow, and it's good night from me at the Crown Plaza Hotel, Gatwick Airport. Good night! Right, and it's good morning from me at the Crown Plaza, Gatwick Airport. So I have, I slept pretty well last night. I was really, really tired last night after the long day yesterday. Um, when I actually get home, um, everyone's been encouraged to uh, write to new market promotions because um, there was a bit of a misunderstanding last night. Um, we received a text message from our tour guide uh, to say to stay at court number one while the men's final was finishing uh, because all of our matches had finished quite early on court number one. And then there was a big message uh, on the court number one screen at about 10 past seven to say, right, can everybody on the new market uh, promotions uh, trip uh, please make their way back to the coaches? But this was for all the people who were at coach car park number 10. Uh, number four, sorry, and we were at coach park, car park number 10. So I think, like, you know, there was a certain degree of confusion and then we actually didn't get away from the car park until about 10 to 8 last night and because the men's final had finished so late, um, nobody was really wanting to stay for the women's doubles final, so therefore it took forever to get out of the car park last night. Anyway, so here we are this morning. I have got all my stuff packed. I've got myself sorted. And this is my packed suitcase. There we are. I'm leaving at around about half past nine. So I just wanted to get everything packed. Uh, just so that I'm not doing it all after breakfast. Gonna go for breakfast fairly soon so as you'll see there there's my uh toiletries bag there i've just got all my stuff there there's the stuff there i brought from the tennis and there's my bag there got the free bottle of water there from the hotel uh if we come and have a look outside it's quite cloudy out there this morning Don't let me forget me cardigan, whatever you do. And I've taken some of the free toiletries as well. So all that's really left in there now is my uh, toothbrush and toothpaste. Here are the shuttle bus times that go back to the airport because it's like it's about
about 10, 15 minutes to get back to the airport from here where I can then get the train to go back to Victoria. So I'm aiming there for the one that's at 9.50. So what's the time now? All right, yeah, the time's not quite 8 o'clock. So there we go. And I should get back to the south terminal for about 5 past 10. So that's quite a good time, that, for getting back there. So we're just going to leave that there. Hello? That was my alarm call. Right, so I'm just about all packed. All I've got to do really when I come back is just to brush my teeth, put my phone charger back in my bag. Um, and that's about it, actually. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my stuff and I'm going to go and have some breakfast. So I'll catch you all a little bit later. Right, well, I left the hotel at around about 10 to 10 this morning. I've just left Doncaster on the train, so I am almost home and the time is nearly 20 to 4. So, as much as I've had a really, really good time, I'm also glad I'm very nearly home as well. So, Selby is the next station stop and I shall be getting out of there.